the top priority for the nation's airlines, reassuring passengers it's safe to fly, disinfecting planes, making masks mandatory, spacing out passengers, and blocking middle seats. Under pressure, Frontier has abandoned charging customers to keep middle seats open. But the global airline industry warns it could all push airfares higher by 54% worldwide. The situation, say U.S. airlines, is dire. Passenger volumes declined to levels that we have not seen since the 1950s. Down 95%. The impact on U.S. ticket prices? Hopper.com crunched the data for NBC News. Fares on good deals down 30% on average from a year ago. 29 to 34% cheaper through the summer. Even winter holiday fares already down 22%. We could see higher prices if airlines are required to, or it turns out they end up flying with significantly lower capacity. U.S. airlines have now parked 50 percent of their fleets, 3,000 planes. In exchange for a government bailout, they agreed to keep their employees through September 30th. Execs have taken pay cuts and asked employees to take voluntary leave. If passengers don't return in a big way, tens of thousands of airline employees could be laid off starting in October. What do you envision will happen? and come October 1st. We are going to have to make some decisions to reduce the size of our airline and to reduce the cost that we're paying. Meanwhile, TSA workers are now being told they too must wear face masks effective today. 500 workers have already been infected with COVID-19. Six have died. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.